What's up guys, Bytor here. Today we are going to be restoring the Tempest Magnum. Uh, we've already done an engine swap on this car before on a different profile under game editor and so that is one last thing we do not have to worry about. Which is a good thing. Um, Today I plan on also writing down all the cars I've got and I will make a separate episode of me swapping engines out on every car. I just am trying to decide what I want to do as far as that goes. And man this car looks terrible. Look at the condition it's in. Wow. Might also make a quick stop to the junkyard and test out a new update. This is 1.18. That was just released this morning. It's like 3.30 in the morning. So I'm somewhat tired. I had just woke up. But I'm ready to go. Um, and since this is being recorded so early. Um, I might start recording another um, episode today. And I might actually uh, write down all the engines and start the uh, swap. So we'll see what that does for us. We'll just see what today brings. I still have yet to stream. In which uh, I'll post my link down in the uh, description. So, yep. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and move this car over to car lifter A. Let's make a quick run to the junkyard. And if you guys have not seen yet, um, this is Project Muscle. And I understand not every car I've got in there is a muscle car, but most of them would qualify as a muscle car. So... Look around here and see if there's any. Uh, what the heck is this? No. That's the Flamo. I'm still looking for three more cars that I could reset. Aw, oh, nah, ah. That is the Mustang Boss 302. Spectre Fastback. Well, from what I saw, anyway. That is awesome. Remember, if you guys watched part one, which uh, I introduced you guys to it, this series, I said in the beginning that I was looking for something like that. And I knew they had it. And, uh... I knew they had it in the game. So... And uh, 1.18 just came out, and one of the things that uh, I had noticed was that they put a sell all button in. So I want to gather a lot of junk real quick and see if this is bugged in any way, shape, or form. Alright, we'll just gather up one more pile here. One more pile of junk. Alright, let's do one quick walk around. See if there's any cars real quick. Oh, we got a we got a van. We can't get that. What's that? Oh, that's one of those El Camino type. Which honestly, I might I might I might see. Six thousand. Yeah. Why not? Alright, we've got one more spot left. Uh, I'll just, I'll probably wait 
until yeah I'll just probably wait alright let's just finish up by gathering this junk alright let's go home 499 see how much money we can get out of this um, I'm pretty stoked about 1.18. They have actually finally added something that I had requested, and that was a sell all button. It was a very small request, which is alright. I mean, you can only do so much per update, so. As a developer, th I feel like they're doing the right thing by taking it one by one. They're not adding everything within one update and being done which honestly that's the right way to do it or is it 1.1.7 heck I don't know alright let's see here oh yeah we gained money out of that okay we need to start off by just taking apart absolutely everything. Because when I restore cars, I I take apart the whole car itself. I do want to pull out this engine, but I think I got to take out the gearbox first. gonna real quick save the game all right let's see if I can pull this engine out yep I gotta get rid of the gearbox first And wow, guys, you wouldn't believe I have s my internet so terrible that uh, that video just released. The part one just released. And that's so, let's see here. I started that at around 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon. And two hours ago, so that would be one o'clock. And it's one more hour. So it took about nine hours. Alright, we got the gearbox out. Let's take off the exhaust. Let's pull out this engine now. <clears throat> I want to know what size tires those are, because those are like the perfect size I would eventually like to I would like for them to add a stance type deal and look at that the engines out where you can uh, camber out your tires and whatnot I think that'd be pretty cool and I wouldn't go overboard with it um, I don't know if I can find a good picture but if I can you will see it any time now um, yeah I mean I'm not that ridiculous with that but I would do it enough for you to notice it and if you can add camber to the tire that's news to me because I never knew you could do that All right So we're pretty much taking apart the whole suspension. And I will show you guys what I do. Like how I know what parts can be added. Uh, once I take this all apart. I mean this is in terrible condition. I've honestly got to say I've never seen 
I've never seen a car like this. And I mean, if it was, if it was put in the junkyard in that condition, I don't know why somebody would treat a car like that. I know it's a, I know it's a game. But I've also known people that have treated real nice cars like shit, and they have not lasted. Uh, for instance, I have a friend who had just gotten an Alero. It was nice. I mean, it's an Oldsmobile. It's not that... Okay, now, Oldsmobiles aren't really all that nice in general, but Aleros were one of the better models that came out. I mean, it was newish, and I mean, it's totally destroyed. I mean, it's been wrecked, took it off roading. But not gonna lie, that car is still going strong, which is very surprising. I mean, that is actually really surprising. I have actually never rebuilt a supercharged engine before in the game and in real life. Actually, the only thing I've ever really honestly rebuilt in real life is a V6 Vulcan from a Taurus. A 3.0 V6 Vulcan. And actually come to find out that Taurus is my car now. Very good car. It's got 225,000 miles on it and it's still going strong. Oh, will I be looking at a new car in the future? Probably. It's starting to uh, give me a ton of error codes. Uh, like P0171. <clears throat> and uh, what that is, is a sensor that's gone bad. Or, it's a rip in the uh, engine hose. It's a rip in a hose somewhere. Or a tear. But I cannot locate it at all. Alright, so we pretty much got every every inch of this car out. I just want to know what tire size this is. Yep, it's just the body. Alright, this can be moved back. Okay, let's see here. Inventory. Those are 14s. That is, uh, that's really surprising, honestly. V8 2 carb OHC supercharged. It's a good engine. Alright, now sell all. It does not do combined products. Okay. I was actually wondering about that. It's gonna take a lot of money alone to rebuild this engine. So we will start off by doing that. Alright, let's see. Let's see, let's see. And this is all I do. I just add it to the list. I mean, it's easy that way. Ignition coil. Fuel filter. Alright, so that's every part that can be added as of right now. Let's bring up the shopping list. Let's go to the main shop. Alright, now let's look up engine block. V80HV. Yep, right here. And let's look up a brake servo. We need a battery. I don't try to type out the whole thing. Radiator C. Where's B? There's an A and C, but where's B? I actually just noticed that. Ignition coil B. No. Hmm. Let's do a fuel filter. Alright, now, here's the tricky part. 
you have to place the engine block and add a part to it enabling for you to put it on a stand which does not make sense to me but that's just the way that the game was made was that it has to be considered a combined product okay let's see if we can uh, go ahead and pull this engine out <coughs> Yep. So let's see if we can go ahead and add it. Yeah, we can. Good. Okay. So just working on the engine right now, what all can we put on? We can put on... Oh man, I need to get rid of everything from the list. Alright, let's see here. Power steering, alternator. That's going to be extremely needed. Oil filter. Okay, let's rotate the engine. Let's go ahead and put it upside down. Why not? Oh, I already did the camshaft. I need a crankshaft. Actually, everything can be installed when the engine's upside down, so we're going to keep it that way. <coughs> Power steering pump, V8. Alternator. We got an oil filter as well. V8OHV is the black. Camshaft, V8OHV, which is where? right there and I know it's gonna have me put in cam gear so we're gonna get two of those let's do a crankshaft V8 OHV filter in. Let's get the alternator. Let's do a cam gear. And that pretty much concludes the list for this round. Alright, we got the ignition distributor. Need piston with Conrod crankshaft bearing cap. Oh, we got a timing chain. Cannot forget that. That would seriously suck. <coughs> Alright, we need an ignition distributor. Alright, we need eight pistons and eight piston rings. Crankshaft bearing cap. Get eight of those timing chain 
B eight O H V. Um, we need a rod cap. We need eight of those, I believe. I know there's one thing where we don't necessarily need eight, but we can always resell it. Why not? Oh, and I forgot the flywheel. That'll be within the next. That'll be the next store trip. Then I need to get the clutch release bearing and all that junk. Also probably gonna end up having me buy an oil pan for this. Okay, sweet. And it's gonna have me add the oil pan that we can work on the top. Alright, let's. Alright, the flywheel will be the easier one to remember. Did I already get the oil pan now? Engine head. Okay, we can actually rotate this. <coughs> Okay, we need two engine heads. We bought an ignition distributor. Okay, and that looks like it's it for now. We also need to get the clutch and whatnot. Flywheel. Clutch release bearing, pressure plate, plate. Timing cover. We also have two engine heads. And it's also going to have me do the valve push rods and the spark plugs and whatnot. And actually, something I do know is that the push rods. Uh, there's two of them per cylinder, so if I have eight, that would make it 16. Spark plug, one per cylinder. And ignition wires. Uh, would it just be V8? It might be. Um... There's one of these that I'll just discover it later on. Screw it. They actually did not make that look glitched one bit either. I'm pretty impressed. Alright. Alright, 
we got the spark plugs in. So that actually ends up helping us. This and all helps us a lot. What is that? Rocker arm. Okay. I was on the complete opposite thing. And there's two per cylinder, one per valve rod. Which is fine with me. Whoops, I made a mistake. Alright, we've got the exhaust manifold. Oh, we forgot the timing cover. Oh, and I forgot to grab an oil pan. I think. Yeah, I did. Alright, let's see here. Alright, just so we can be safe, I'm going to add that to the list. Oh, I've already got the supercharger intake. Uh, let's see here. Alright, well, actually, we've got the tablet to help us. Okay, we need 16 rocker arms. Wait, what? That's insane. That's a new part. I think, anyways. Okay, 16 rocker arms. Exhaust manifold. V8. We need two of those. Supercharger intake manifold. V8 OHV. We only need one of those. We need a crankshaft pulley. A crankshaft pulley. V8 OHV. Water pump. V8 OHV. Oil pan. V8 OHV. <clears throat> so far, we're starting to uh, see the engine in its true shape. Can't wait to get the scoop on there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Supercharger. That is mighty impressive, honestly. Too bad I couldn't keep a track of how much money I spend. How much I will spend. Aw, oh, man. Shit. I'd like to know how much that's gonna cost me. Alright, let's put on these rocker arms. So far this engine's coming out pretty good. I, uh, I really cannot wait to put this in. This alone has taken me quite a while. Ooh, 
Ooh, we got an engine head cover. We have B and A. I also forgot you need freaking sunglasses just to look at the engine. And I don't mean in the game, I mean in real life. You need sunglasses. Cause, holy crap. And there you go. And engine head cover A. I don't think I put this belt on. Do I have a supercharger water pump pulling? Yes, I do. All right, that is awesome. We are pretty much getting there. All right, supercharger water pump pulley. $2,000 for a supercharger. This game makes real life look cheap. Because I don't think... I don't think it costs that much in real life. I actually don't know how much it costs to put in a supercharger on your car. In real life. I know to turbocharge it alone it's like nine hundred dollars something that I don't even really want to spend okay so once we put on this supercharger we should be able to put on uh, not the scoop of course a uh, carburetor forgot about that. Oh, there's the ignition distributor rotor. It is a two carb after all, so... I would like to know when these ignition wires are going to come into play, or if you even need any, truthfully. So we're actually coming down to the end of the engine. The suspension part kind of kills me. Alright, so this is a two-carb engine. Which is actually very, that's quick. You know automatically that that's going to be a quick ass car. <sighs> okay, let's bring out the supercharger belts. Ignition distributor rotor, and it's probably going to end up asking me for a cap. Uh, carburetor four barrel two of those, it's a two carb. And then after that, I think the scoop is going to come into play. Ah, uh, the air filters. Yep, there's the distributor cap. Ah, here's the ignition wires. Sweet. Ah, we forgot the cert belt A, which is fine. I can I'll just add it to the list. 
along with these filters. And we also need the scoop in general. I'm going to go ahead and buy B because I know that B is probably going to be on there. Alright, two air filters and a scoop. We've got the radiator fan and the fan housing and whatnot to have to deal with. Radiator van V O H V. And in which I'm trying to speed this up here. Ah, there we go. Alright. Sweet. Look at that. What's up now? Alright, we're gonna move this back. I'm going to go ahead and get out the welder. We're going to fix up the body. I also want to disassemble this interior, the seat, the bench, there we go. Alright, now time for the most aggravating part. Now these were 17s I know of for a fact. Let's go pick out some nice rims for this. I mean this car deserves to feel pretty. It is a pretty ass car. It's actually one of my favorite cars. This is a car that I want to add to my bucket list. More than anything else, truthfully. Uh, I don't like those I do like something like that, but I want it black. Actually, I'm curious if you can, uh, I'm curious if you can paint this. can't. Dang, that really sucks. I was going to say, if you can paint that, that would be sweet. Alright, now we need 417s on tires. Let's do race tire B. That's, that's one that I always use, is race tire B. I just love the looks of it. I think it looks nice on this car. Oh, we don't want to separate, we want to install here. And while they do that periodically, we're going to go ahead and... We've got a lot to work with now.
Alright, sweet, so we got that part added. Let's balance out the wheel. And actually, uh, they had came out with a patch that fixes how fast they balance the wheels in this. Which is pretty good. Yeah, look at how quick that is compared to the... If you guys go to like an early, early video, like my very first video ever, you would probably know that this is one of the slowest processes in the game. In which we all could agree it was. Okay, so what I'm going to do here now is I don't want to worry about any part of the body right now, truthfully. But man, do I have a lot of stuff I need to get. We need to get four leaf spring U-bolts, two leaf springs, a leaf spring rear drive axle, and just a plain right leaf spring. We need a fuel tank and a fuel pump. I wish they would add more fuel tank options because I know different cars take different fuel tanks, which is kind of obvious, let's be real here. All right, we need an overhead valve gearbox. Two, f let's just type in exhaust. Front exhaust pipe. And muffler. Middle. Need two of those. And we need two rears. Alright. Uh, cross member D. Steering knuckle C. Uh, I don't want to buy that just yet. Uh, sway bar B. Steering rack. And that looks like that's it. But, one thing I do know that we will need is tie rods. And every time you turn a car, it'll pull them tie rods with the steering rack. And it it's hard to explain. But pretty much when you steer, the steering rack will move according to how you steer. Yada, yada, yada. We only need one more tire to be balanced. Okay, now we can just start assembling all this. These gearboxes are rather pricey. What? Oh, it takes the A. Shoot. My bad. I should have paid attention to that. Alright, we got the middle mufflers. Got that. Got that. Alright, so the exhaust system's done. Oh, we don't have that yet. 
this suspension actually might not be that bad. And I think I bought a fuel pump, in which I did. Could have swore I bought two leaf springs. Oh well. Not a big deal at all. Alright. Add that. Gonna add that. I'm gonna add the shock absorbers. Oh, I think I might have already have gotten those. I did. I just didn't work on that side yet. And we're going to need some bushings. And honestly, something that I do that's just easier is I will buy like 20 of each bushing. Did I already add this? Yeah, I did. That was the last thing I added. Should have known. We also need the drive shaft. Brake servo, we're going to go ahead and add that anyway because it's needed. But I think I already have one. I want to see if I bought one. Last I knew I had one. Which I could take off the front bumper. Yeah, I do. Is this the new battery? Yeah, it is. Might as well get the whole engine bay done before we move on. Which I know that's not everything, but it's it's a lot of it. Anyway. Okay, so rear knuckle housing B. I know I already added that, but I just wanted to make sure. Alright. Where do we start? We'll go with the starter V8. Okay, we need the rear axle knuckle housing B. We need two of those. I need another leaf spring. Rear shock absorber B. Two of those. Alright, and like I said, since I can't calculate how many bushings I'm going to need, I'm just going to buy 15 of each. Because, I mean, it's not like we can... It's not like we can't sell it. Bottom suspension arm. Oh, I need two of those. And I thought I had an upper suspension arm. Alright, drive shaft. And that does it for that part. I'm going to go ahead and add these uh, bushings real quick. After I get these. After I get that. Let's get that. This car is starting to come together pretty good. Pretty decently. Man, these rubber bushings are so hard to replace.
That is the part I hate most about. That's the part I hate most about when it comes to cars is the bushings. And which, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I've never had to touch one in a real car. I'm glad I will hopefully never have to. I know eventually I'm probably gonna have to. Alright, so the rubber bushings for the most part are almost done. Alright, cool. Alright, thank god that part's over. Alright, let's go ahead and start up on the new list. Alright, so it's brake drums in the back. Or what I always do, I just buy four of everything in the brake category. Alright, I don't think I'm missing any parts. Oh, the starter. Wheel hub four. Uh, wheel hub cap. Wheel hub bearing. Okay, now here is what I do. Absolutely everything in the brake category gets four quantity. Just so I can be sure that I get it replaced. And I believe the ventilated brake disc, I only need two. Brake drums, I only need two. Pads need two. Brake shoes only need two. But I just want to be safe about it. Double wishbone shock absorber. The, not the rear. I've actually never messed with the car that's needed a uh, shock absorber in the back but I'm guessing it's more off-road of vehicles okay now we need to search cap front shock absorber cap alright sway bar front end link B I think I already bought one of these, but just to be safe, front axle, knuckle cover, I need two of those. We also have to do the uh, spring puller. I, uh, I bought one, didn't I? Oh, nope, wrong sway bar. That is 100% my fault. I will take I will take the blame for that one. You'll have four drum wheels so oh man. All right. 
let's go ahead we'll add the drum wheel cylinder thought I already did maybe not heck I don't know alright and to start off here we need a front wheel hub let's go ahead and go to the spring puller we will combine these real quick alright tablet Alright, solid rear drive, axle, two of those are needed, drum wheel sill, aw oh, shoot, we only do need two of those now, I do know that, front wheel hub, I wish I would not have searched that, too many, it's way too many items come up way too many items alright sweet and now we got the brake system See how much easier it is to go and buy the brakes ahead of time. And you don't have to worry about all this bullshit. We've got the rims now. Ooh, I love those. Those are nice. Alright, we do need a shock absorber. I do know that much for a fact. We are coming to a close on this now. To being completely done, which I cannot wait because holy shit it's taken us a long time I mean I don't know what time I started but it's taken us a long time but it's it's fun I mean I can't believe like literally 10 hours ago I filmed the first episode of this And I'm already starting off on the second, which is actually starting to restore cars. Which now it's actually starting to get to the fun part. Once I get all these on, we're going to take it out for a test run. I do need to put oil in still. Alright, drum wheel still. Brake drum and rim, rim, rim. And I think that does it. Oh, the body. Yes, we need to paint it and we need to do the interior. Which, hey, that's fine with me. That's actually fun. Well, I mean, this is in general is all fun, but I mean, dang, it's. It's definitely a project. So. Oh, we might have overfilled that. Let's check. Oh, man. Alright, um. I'll show you what I do. Oh, man, those are small. Shoot. Okay, well, looks like I might be increasing the size to 22s. Let's see first on how that is. In which, this is your common trial and error type stuff. I forgot the rims I had. I think it was this. Alright, let's see how 20s look on the car first. Then I will go up to 22 if needed. Whoops.
and in which everything's fine. Alright, now while that does that, I gotta take off all these tires. I could have sworn it said that these were 17s, though. But it's not a big deal at all. Alright, let's go ahead and balance this out. Alright. Um, let's see how the 20s look. This is 20s. That's perfect. Whoops. Oh, all these are 17s. That these can be sold. Let's go ahead and click on sell all. Oh, there is a 20 in there, but it's not balanced just yet. Let's go ahead and balance that. Oh, and that's... That's one of the last parts I gotta balance. We won't really know until we get the body on how it looks. But it looks like that might do it. That actually looks good. I like that. And even if I have to come back out of the video... I'll replace it out of the video. It's not a big deal. And one of my main themes here is racing with the interior and I'll show you what I do. Figure why not. Uh, where's the other tire? I could have swore I bought a. Uh, I could have swore I bought four. All right, they're twenties. I know that. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the body shop. All I do is search up Magnum and I buy everything. Magnum. I mean, I absolutely buy a whole new body for this car. Okay, so that part got taken care of. Let's go to the interior shop, because the inside matters. Um, I want to try to find something that gives off like a racing vibe like that. That gives off a good old racing vibe. Um... I do like that. M3. Okay, we're going to go ahead and assemble all this. We're going to keep the hood off. I don't know why I bought a hood then to begin with.
We'll make this car look brand new once we are done with it. And judging by this, that is the perfect tire size, which I think we did really good in judging. Took us it it took us an extra buy, but other than that, it's good. We've also got oil in the engine. All we need is the interior done. And I think we will be good to go. Garage entrance A. And would you look at that. Wow. Nice. Alright, let's get this detailing kit over to the entrance A. Alright, so we have successfully put in a whole new so there you go let's go ahead and take this baby out for a little test run at the test track we will do aw oh, man the clips I had totally forgot about that okay so that is a very easy fix Thank God. Uh, clip. Just go ahead and buy four of each. You can never be so sure of what it is exactly. I think it goes on to the ignition distributor, which it does. Man, I can't get to that. Okay, sweet. Oh, we need to go paint it. Let's go paint this baby. Paint car. There it is. Good old Richard Petty right there alright let's move the car back out there and we should be good to go now I hope anyway alright test track yep we're good to go guys we got this car completely done I don't know how long it took but I'm it's well over a half hour which you could probably expect that with all cars now. Oh, listen to that engine. Oh my god. Oh man. This car can't handle good. Personally, I think it's just way too much horsepower. Sweet. 
Now that was really loud. I don't know how it's going to be in the video. I will try to turn it down for you guys. Because I could tell it's going to be just a tad loud. So, alright, well, that concludes it for today. Let's see what all we have to work with here now. Since I added a car or two to the uh, garage. Well, the parking. But, uh, yeah, that was actually uh, really fun. I am looking very forward to doing this again. Let's go ahead and move this over to the parking. Let's go over to parking. That is definitely one of my absolute favorite cars in the game, is the Magnum. It is a mean-ass machine. But uh, I'm thinking next we will swap out all the engines on every single car I've got. So, which would really suck because then once I swap out engines, the engine's going to be brand new. But it still would be very nice to do. Oh, so we have one more car we can put in, but there it is. Now, I, I can't take a picture, which is alright, I guess. Man, I can't believe I got one of these, finally. I am so hyped up about it. Uh, that I got from an auction. Let's actually look at the engine here. There is some rust on it, which is fine. This is going to be fun to replace everything in. Wow. Yep. Oh man, that has parts missing and so does this. Wow. Alright guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, don't forget next video we will be swapping out engines. Thank you all so much for viewing this video. I know it's been a very long one. The others might not be as long if we end up doing an engine swap because it'll replace them brand new in the cars. Alright guys, have a good day and I will see you all in the next episode.